Hello and welcome everyone to Silver Asset of the Day for the 19th of May 2020, presented by myself, Phil Carr, at the Golden Silver Club. So first of all, as we go into a new week here, we have seen quite the incredible move on silver. As highlighted last week, we were looking for buying evidence and support to be maintained at $15.50 per ounce for a great trade setup at that zone for a long with that, that move has delivered over 200 points now in the latest week. We've seen a $2 move here for silver, breaking out to $17.50 per ounce, a 14% move here and just within a single week here. So well done to everybody who capitalized on that move. We have seen hedge funds and money managers that have increased their net longs in silver in the latest week. We've also seen the gold-silver ratio have a significant drop. Remember, we mentioned this before, you must track the gold-silver ratio when you're trading the precious metals. When the gold-silver ratio is breaking down, as it has done in the latest week, it's broken all the way down to 101 to 1. That provides some fantastic breakouts there on gold and silver. Silver, of course, will outperform gold when the gold-silver ratio is dropping and it's had quite a significant sell-off in the latest week. You have to remember again that the gold-silver ratio was trading at 125 to 1 back in March, which was the highest on record. This is where silver broke down to 11-year lows at $11.50 per ounce. Now it's trading above $17 per ounce. So quite the incredible move in the latest week. And again, you do want to make sure that you're able to catalyze on these moves week to week here. And it is a fantastic time right now, whilst many people are still on lockdown, to so just learn a research-driven approach to the markets here, where you're really able to get further edge with your trades, where you're not basing your trading decisions just purely on technical analysis and indicators which give you bad entries, essentially, on your trades, where a lot of the time you're going to FOMO in, you'll have delayed entries or you'll miss entire moves. That's definitely not what you want. You want to be approaching the markets with a research-driven approach where you have a lot more market intelligence and don't do what the retail traders do, which is to FOMO in or essentially just keep getting chopped out of the market. They're not knowing when to get in, when to get out, which is very important. That's where you really want to have that additional market intelligence and edge in the markets where it's not just comprised of technical analysis. As I mentioned on Gold Asset of the Day, just click in the link below today's video. There's a lot more detail on that and how you can become a member of the Gold and Silver Club. So with that, with silver right now, what are we looking at in terms of the price action over the next few days? Well, we have now continued to see a close above $17 per ounce. We're picking up momentum fast here, which is what I suspected. As the ratio breaks down fast, you can see the breakout also pick up momentum very quickly. You have to remember that gold prices at the beginning of the year broke out to seven year highs. Silver at the time only was able to break out to three month highs. Silver relative to gold still has a lot of catching up to do. The next major magnetic levels would of course be $18 per ounce and above that, the swing high is residing at $19.60 per ounce. Now I would give it a little bit of a additional time horizon here for that to occur. Normally the metals, they do particularly build up momentum from mid-May onwards, and we see that follow through over June and July for summer rallies. So I'm certainly looking at more upside here on the precious metals, but again, the real key is knowing when to enter, when to act, exit, when to bank profits. As you mentioned on gold asset of the day, you want to do you making sure that you benefited and took profits along the way, particularly on the Sunday open where you get these gap highs for gold, where you want to look at banking profits, taking positions off the table, and then reloading with that typical Monday, Tuesday counter flow, which has just been great for gold. Now we have two additional positions on this market in the latest week, which just worked out fantastic. Currently, both positions in combination are up over 700 points at the moment. So that's been a really solid move here for the precious metals over the last few days. And with respect to silver, over this week, just be aware that hedge funds, money managers, they've increased their net long positions. The gold silver ratio has broken down significantly. We discussed with you in detail last week at $15.50 per ounce, being a very key level. And just drop it out to the weekly chart with silver as well, where you can see where we've broken above that neckline, taken out $15.83 per ounce, which is what we need to see happen. From there, we've then broken above $16 and of course $17 per ounce as well. So it's been quite a phenomenal move here for silver in the latest week. There are the minutes of the FOMC, which are on Wednesday, which are another catalyst 
for big moves here, but ultimately I'm expecting higher prices for silver here. As we go into June, you just really want to get the timing of those entries spot on. So well done to everybody who caught the move from last week where we identified that $15.50 handle as a great region to start looking at, picking up positions at that zone. So with that, that's been silver asset of the day. And of course I wish you good trading.